the United States works on developing laser technology, its adversaries are not far behind. While neither China nor Russia has the kind of advanced laser systems available in the United States, lasers could be more proliferated across domains in a few years, said Mick Ryan, a Center for Strategic and International Studies fellow. In particular, Russia has boasted of its use of an experimental laser system Zadera during its invasion of Ukraine, he noted. It's not likely that the system has had much impact given the nation's propensity to exaggerate its technological capabilities. An adversary such as China has access to multiple UAVs and anti-ship missiles, and Beijing has a high capacity for producing more. This could price out the Navy's ability to defend itself. Threats to Navy vessels continue to grow in the form of drone swarms and anti-ship missiles. Now, after decades of experimentation, the Navy is closing in on a low-cost solution that can deter and defend against aerial threats at sea. The Navy's 2023 funding request would support deinstallation and hardware disposition of the 100 kilowatt system. The next step for the HELIOS program is taking the system through its paces after its installation. At sea testing will begin in 2023, according to the budget request. Lockheed Martin delivers integrated multi mission laser weapon system to the U.S. Navy, a 60 plus KLU class high energy laser with integrated optical dazzler and surveillance, Hishidi OS, the first tactical laser weapon system to be integrated into existing ships and provide directed energy capability to the fleet. Integrated and scalable by design, the multi mission Hishidi OS system will provide tactically relevant laser weapon system warfighting capability as a key element of a layered defense architecture. Heal IOS is a transformational new weapon system providing an additional layer of protection for the fleet with its deep magazine, low cost per kill, speed of light delivery, and precision response. The system which can blast more than 60 kilowatts of directed energy at targets up to five miles away, is currently being installed on a flight IIA Arleigh Burke class destroyer that is undergoing upgrades. Helios enhances the overall combat system effectiveness of the ship to deter future threats. Helios represents a solid foundation for incremental delivery of robust and powerful laser weapon system capabilities. HELIOS is part of the Navy Laser family of systems, a collection of platforms that the service envisions as the foundation of an incremental strategy for increased laser weapon capability. The weapon system addresses anti-surface warfare and counterintelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance gaps with the ability to dazzle and destroy unmanned aerial systems and defeat fast and shore attack craft. The technology represents significant advances over current systems and options for countering UAVs and anti-ship missiles. Surface-to-air missiles and Gatling guns require magazine depth on ships and have poor cost exchange ratios when deployed against inexpensive drones. The previous iteration of the Solid State Laser Quick Reaction Capability Laser Weapon System, or LAWS, was a temporary installation on the U.S. ponds. The system struggled to identify tiny targets, such as the smallest class of drones. The new system has advantages over past laser weapons in terms of power and positioning. HELIOS is being integrated into its vessel and the Aegis combat system, allowing permanent installation. The weapon uses spectral beam combined fiber lasers, giving it a higher beam quality than the incoherently combined six high quality fiber lasers. Because the laser has the option to dazzle US in addition to destroying capabilities, it has game-changing or fighting capabilities.
The system has demonstrated that it can repeatedly hit a high-speed target at tactically extended ranges. It closed the fire control loop on a track provided by the Surface Combat System Center's Aegis Combat Sensor after achieving coarse and fine optical tracking. The Optical Dazzling Interdictor Navy, or ODINN, enables the system's dazzling technology by disrupting the electro-optical and infrared sensors on enemy platforms. It's a capability that exists on other vessels, but the Heatle IOS program is the first time a ship has the system fully integrated into its command and control architecture. The laser weapon also has a surveillance mission in addition to its laser-destroying and dazzling capabilities. Helios is scalable and adaptable to other ship classes and combat systems. The Navy has shown interest in laser weapons across different vessels. Last year, it tested another system, the Solid State Laser Technology Maturation Laser Weapons System Demonstrator on the San Antonio-class ship U.S. Portland. All content on the Generation Fighter Jets channel is provided for educational purposes. Thumbnails, videos, and titles are for illustration only. So today's information, I hope it's useful and becomes knowledge for all of you. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you.